Boxing and whatever, the hands and feet are not the ones that are hitting. Okay? Your hips are doing all the hits. Like, look at this, okay? Look at my hips. Now, uh, hold it strong, okay? Nothing's happening from here, right? Why? Because I'm just using my arm. Now, if I connect, if you connect your hip with your wrist over here, strong, right? And I change. What do you feel different? The power, the power is totally different. Okay? So when you're doing your first moving punching, this is what a lot of people do. They punch and they connect with this hip. This is good for generating power or reaching, reaching your target. Okay? And in Vali's case, I need this, if I'm punching you like that, to reach him. Otherwise, he'll punch me because his arms are, are longer, right? But if I want power, if I don't just want to uh, tap him, okay, from here, and I want power, I'm not going to connect with this hip forward. I'm going to be connecting with the other hip for more power. So when I'm punching, hold it, right? And I'm connecting with this, it's a thumb. You feel that? Mm -hmm. It's totally different, right? So what you're trying to do is allow the motions to come from your hips. Even if you're doing a hyunzao from here, this is just my hand, right? Keep it stable. Now this is my my hip doing all the work. What do you feel different? I moved. <laughs> yeah. It, with all my body. Exactly. So you're moving the whole thing. Now, when you're accelerating and you're using, you, you make this idea natural, it's using your hip naturally, and you add motions like um, here, it becomes very, very difficult to fight, to fight against someone like that, right? Because they're not going to give you a chance. It's not that just that they come in from here, right? Because when I, when I touch here, it's not my hand that's hitting. This is my hand, right? Mm -hmm. This is my hip. Mm -hmm. It's you're, you're totally different. Hmm? You're breaking my structure. Yes. Yes. So each and every motion, when you're using the hip, you see, you want to create a yin and yang because if you just use the hip, then your target is going away. So you want to hit here and keep from here. Mm -hmm. So he's still here, right? And then change and then same, right? Same and same. Throw him in the motion all the time. And you do that very, very quickly. It becomes, becomes natural after a certain point. Like, shh, come. Yeah. To, to do this, just do it, relax. Do it slow in the beginning to observe the motions and when you're, you're punching, observe your hit, right? And the, the most important thing after you have a certain skill is to keep your state, to keep your state relaxed because now we, like I can do it because I'm very relaxed, right? And we're playing around and it's no problem. If I get stressed, then my speed goes out the window. My power goes out the window. My coordination goes, goes out the window because I you punch like that, right? So the most important thing is centering yourself. How do we center ourselves? Breathing. Breathing, exactly, exactly. So when I'm feeling like a bit of a, a overwhelm, breathe from the belly, right? And that's where meditation comes in. Okay. Thank you.